Previously, the teams took out their frustrations on some poor defenceless furniture. Stand back. I distressed one of the knobs so much it fell off. As they made something new, something old. Whacking the absolute bananas out of this thing. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> and winners Amy and Katrina scored the prize. Tonight, with only 48 hours to room delivery, the teams are struggling with second-hand wheat. I can't just bring everything from my own house. It's second-hand. I hate this day. Shelly and I drop in to check progress. That doesn't look second-hand. I know. Exactly. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Your bed's made of what? Forklift pallets. And there's a noisy fight brewing in House One. No reason. Can you just apologise to me in front of Australia? It's day 14 on the block, and the couples are only two days away from their second room delivery. Ooh, Katrina and Amy right. are feeling confident about delivering their multifunctional study. 48 hours ago, we had no walls, nothing. We're excited because we know now how much room we've got to deal with to get the furniture today. Yeah, there it is there. Oh, industrial stuff and more, and they're open. Oh, good. What they're not so confident about is filling it with second-hand furniture which is what all the teams need to deliver this week. I've been going through your budgets, and you all have one thing in common. You spent too much money. <laughs> it means that all the furniture that goes into your room this week has to be second-hand. We're not 100% sure exactly what we're shopping for. I'll know it when I see it. Because we're after second-hand things. It has to be second-hand. And we love this. We'll see. That's new. Do you know what you need? Well, we, do, we do know, but we, yeah, you show us some ideas and then we'll know what we're... Well, look, this is old. This is old. New, new, new. That's, That's been new. But it's new. So can you get away with that? No. I want a place to say, get your booty on the foot tonight. Make my day. Awa. What is that word? Awa. Across town, Jenna is also secondhand shopping, but for her, it's familiar territory. This is my idea of heaven. There's so many cool pieces, industrial sort of things, but I really need to go home, put my room together, and then at the end come back and get those few little finishing touches. I haven't really bought anything but I have a million photos to take back and show Josh and a lot of options. After taking a hit from the judges last week, Polly and Woz are putting their time into some hardcore research. We've really realised that we need to bring Woz and Polly back. So this week we're really focusing on what exactly we want out of the room and then executing it to perfection. And that research is starting to pay off. You look really hot listening today, honey. Last night was found on Bing, the curtain exchange. We're here now and we just found the best secondhand line ever. But this is the colour of our bed, mm -hmm. and then we have some records, some vinyls that are in our room, on and they're, our walk. And and they're that colour. Fairly similar to our mm -hmm. wall colour. That's so perfect, beautiful colour. We'll take it. It's a $5,000 winning ticket. It's 1.30 and we really have done nothing because we can't find what we want. It's so hard. Second hand is so dusty, flaking off in every single direction. What we need for this room yes. is an ottoman. Hello, baby. How's the 40 bucks sound? <gasps> Sounds good. I've just bought a little piece of leather and, oh, it's not even leather, it's leather. Thank you. It's supposed to go in the middle of the room. Hmm. I just wanted to buy something. I just wanted to buy something. We impulse shopped just then and now I've got that sick feeling. Same. Maybe I need to go to Shopaholics Anonymous. I hate this day. I hate this day.
Today is a big day on the block because three out of the four houses are getting their second storeys installed. That way, they'll be of equal value to Josh and Jenna's double fronted house. But there's one ingredient that they need, and that's a set of stairs. Oh, stairs? Over the moon, the stairs turn up now. By the end of the day, I'll be able to get upstairs and have a look back at the city. It'd be fabulous. And with three sets to go up today, the boys from Stairlock are all over it like kids in a candy store. Well, they're going to love coming upstairs and looking at what potential view they're going to have up here. The tradies are on fire, as usual. There's a lot going on today. The little things that are stressing me out at the moment. Every now and then there's a loud bang and I get scared. Just looking at your handiwork. Have you been on the tools? No, I haven't, but the boys have been going very well. Second story's up, and we've got stairs in. Do you want to have a look at the rooms? Yeah, are they going well with those? They are. Let's go. The winner for week one is Josh and Jenna. Yeah. Last week's room winners, Josh and Jenna, are taking this week's challenge of using nothing but secondhand furniture to new levels. I'm making this pallet bed. I'm really excited. It's going to be three pallets high just to get that, that normal bed height. I'll sand it back and just put a bit of varnish on it. The mattress is just going to sit straight on top and it's going to look sharp as. When you walk through the door, we'll have a desk built into like a little study nook on the right hand side. We will have a bed made out of pallets right in front of you, a retro pendant light that's like bright burnt orange, and floor to ceiling wardrobes all along the left hand wall. How are you feeling? Stressed. Yeah, <laughs> a lot to do. You've got to be feeling better than those gaps in that corner. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> you can hold a barbecue in that gap there. Yeah. <laughs> With a few mates. <laughs> the reason is our plasterer hasn't come back and finished it yet. So <laughs> if there's still gaps like that tomorrow morning, then Scotty can come back and criticise all he likes. <laughs> Talk us through the dressing. What's happening? We've got a double bed just here on the window. And it's going to be uh, made of pallets? Yes, made of uh, forklift pallets. So I've got three stacked up and by too long. Right. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Let's go back no, a step. Waiting. I'm waiting for this. Let's go back <laughs> a step. Your bed's made of what? Pine or flip Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The ones you there. find on the side of the road with Shep right. written on the side. That's right, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Are they in good nick? They are in good, reasonably good nick. They will be after we see them a bit, but... Uh, it's risky. That's a... No, I love yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 But, it, like, it, it could sort of make or break the room and also... <laughs> The job that you do on it, it could yeah. look unreal yeah, yeah. or it could look like a couple of busted old pallets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It could go either way. Scotty and Shelley were pretty stressed, I think, for us uh, on how much work we've got to do with this room. Now, I'd like to comment on your finishes and everything like that, but you're not finished. Unfortunately, <laughs> no. We have a lot to do. We thought we'd be more organised this week, but no. You'll get it done, no worries. We will. Thanks, Scotty. <laughs> Although sisters Katrina and Amy have struggled with the concept of secondhand furniture. It just doesn't work for us. It's just not what we're about. They are feeling confident about the rest of the room. I want it to look a bit like stainless steel. It'll so. look great. When you walk through the door, you're going to see a giant desk area. It's a double workstation. Two people can work here, so it's full cabinetry with lots of storage. Um, you're also going to see a big green chair, and it's going to be a place for you to relax and kick back. And we've put a telly in there. So it's going to be a really professional place to sit and do your work and also relax and watch TV. Hi. Hello. Office. Yes. yes. That's it, not slash bedroom. No. no. So we've got two big doors going on here. They'll match uh, the industrial theme, sort of like yeah. a stainless steel sort of door. So that is, it's an industrial theme? Yeah, yeah we've got right. industrial touches throughout the house, yeah. You've got to get a really good finish on that door for it to come off that, yes. I reckon. Because you walk in the door, it's going to be the first thing the judges look at. And metallics are tough. Tough one. Tough paint. Paint. No runs. You don't want any runs, do you? No, no way. No runs. <laughs> I hope we can pull it off. Um, we will be working all night if we have to to get the finish on those doors just perfect. We've bought a very big, funky green Only chair, green chair and, footstool. and footstool. It's all matching and it just looks gorgeous, nice. second hand. Yes. And the television is going to be mounted onto this wall here. Is that TV second hand? TV yes. is second hand. Cash converters. 
So we are busily working, working. Oh, I'm sick of working. Get in your chair and watch some telly. Just to kick back for a little while. Research. In the, yeah. We like to call watching television in our industry research. 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 Yeah. <laughs> I do plenty of research too. Every night between four and midnight. <laughs> research. Well, good luck, girls. Thank you. Great job. Thank you. Out the back of the block, it's full steam ahead, with outdoor cladding and second floor staircases. Meanwhile, Shelley and I go to check on the progress of Renault newbies Polly and Woz, who took a real hit at last week's judging. Score rate of 10. Oh, smash. Oh. Yeah, that was hard to hear. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Really, really didn't think it was that Bad. badly done. Our room for week two will be a bedroom and we're going to have a queen-size bed and then recess the bed head, so it'll be basically a hole in the wall. We're going to try and make three recessed boxes at, as storage. The fireplace, we want to close in and turn it into storage. And then the final wall, we're thinking of leaving plain and then just drawing an artwork on it. Come in. Just Looking forward us, to seeing all the furniture and the carpet. And, and the... a room that's almost finished. <laughs> yeah. Now, look, I must say, the first thing I see when I walk in are these little nooks and cutouts, and I really like them. That was basically all of Polly's idea, and so we're now just trying to bring the right colour in to match it all. The, the blind we found really is quite a feature in itself, yeah. and He's the cushions... Like one red, one green, one blue, really. But we might going to pull that back a little bit. Yeah, colour's good. You're lacking that in the other room. That's yeah, what they said, exactly. wouldn't they? So colour's great. But I think there'll be enough colour in that and what's up here. So we've got a beautiful queen-size bed in, like, a chocolate brown. Mm -hmm. That doesn't look second-hand. I know. Exactly. Oh, that is second-hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second-hand. We've got enough gum tree, $300 bucks. for the bed and the two bedside tables. And then was really... his master idea. We're going to have this up above. This second-hand frame actually we found for 50 bucks, which is amazing. Second-hand frame? Yeah. And it's going to have a whole array of old, of rec old records. Behind the glass. Oh, you guys are just crazy. Yeah. But the... And then see his shirt? Mm -hmm. The vintage yeah. microphone? Yes. He's going, look? we're painting it yeah. on that wall. Bit of a music thing. Hmm. Good, I would good. say these kids have learnt a little bit. Yeah, this, absolutely. I feel the Polly and Moz vibe leaking out of this roof. <laughs> We're like their little kids that have just learned and grown into these designers and renovators. Uh, yeah. We're not there We're yet. We're not there yet. <laughs> For Rod and Tanya, second hand week has been extra busy, as they've done most of the work themselves, which has allowed them to save a heap of money on their budget for their teenage retreat. On the left hand side underneath the window, there'll be a chocolate brown single bed. At the end of that bed, there'll be a surfboard leaning against the wall. Also on that right-hand side wall, there's going to be a plasma because it's a teenage boys' room, so we want it to be um, quite techno, quite fun. Oh, it's, a bit, it's a bit tight in here, huh? Oh, yes. sideways. Now, I tell you what, it's a little room, but that is the world's biggest wardrobe. Thank you. <laughs> She's a beauty. We've got to have storage in a room like that, and the only way you're going to get it is to go right through to the ceiling. And we've got a desk as well. They'll be able to stick their laptop on there and there'll be a single bed running across here. Mm -hmm. Rod, when we spoke to you about your first room, you actually said you'd learnt a lot and you were going to do a lot of the work yourself in here. What have you done in this one? We've hung all the plaster. Have you? Fitted, fitted it all out. And it looks really, it's really good. Really great finish. <laughs> What's your budget been? Maybe around 1500 Oh, really? Yeah. That's, That's outstanding. Out. You're a good little shopper, aren't you? Shopped it you? online, I think, mm -hmm. at a fraction of the price. Yeah. yeah. Surfboard. Looks secondhand, but wax is dirty. Hundred dollars. It's the best bargain of the century. Yeah. Can I offer a suggestion? Yes. Strip the wax off. A little bit skanky. I'm more than happy to take Shelley's advice and nearly absolutely anything, because she's experienced what she does. The surfboard thing, though, stays the same. <laughs> it's got that real functionality about it. You pick it up, you go down the beach, you surf on it. If the young bloke that lives in here, the teenagers, anything like me as a teenager, he's going to need a lot of shelves for trophies. Yeah, and, I know. You know, like hundreds of trophies and, and certificates of appreciation. Like a board for all your, yeah. Ribbons yeah. and all that sort of jazz. <laughs> what about there? There's you know, a couple of shelves. Imagine, my room, you can hardly see a wall for trophies, Rod. Right? I believe you, Scotty. <laughs>
Yeah, we're getting carpet um, putting first thing in the morning. So once we do that, we'll get the bed and everything yeah. in here and then we'll step back and have a look. Shag. Shag. Come on, what teenager wouldn't want Shag? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and it also that's another thing when I was a teenager. <laughs> For country mums Katrina and Amy, as hard as the block has been on them, today they have some extra motivation to get the job done ahead of judging. We've got 48 hours to go and we're on track. But mind you, our families are coming this afternoon, so we had a really big motivation too this week. All right, come on, Chef. It was emotional seeing the kids for the first time today. I was sort of choking back the tears a little bit. It was lovely to see them. Oh, my God. Get out on. Yeah, my heart was racing. I was, um, it was with excitement, just because, you know, they're my favourite people in the whole entire world. <laughs> And really great to show them what we've achieved so far and what we've got to do so that they can see the process of it and, you know, for the kids to understand and it's really good. Mm. And I just wanted to kiss them all at once and wanted to see their faces and I just miss them like crazy. And my husband's lost some weight. Yeah, he looks so much thinner. Because he's because not he's, coping. He's um, lovesick, we keep saying. Yeah, he is. It's sickening. I really miss what Katrina does at home. There's a lot of things that probably go unseen, you forget about. Washing and things like that. I really realise what a um, mother does now. I've been at home alone with the kids for two and a half weeks and um, mums don't get paid enough. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> just to see their little faces and to see my husband has just been... It's really good. Mm. Priya just wants to know where she's sleeping tonight. <laughs> she wants to know where her bed is. It was fabulous. It was really nice. Our husbands and kids have gone back to the motel. They're waiting to have dinner. But we're here painting. We're happy to say to them, you just have to go and do your thing. We'll do a bit of work here and then we'll come. Council noise restrictions have now been in place for a few hours, but with less than a day to go to judging, Jenna is tempted to stretch the rules. Josh, I don't know how to use it. Huh? Do I put this in the actual paint bucket? I would rather you not use tin. it and we just get painted. Do I put this in the paint tin? No. How, what do I do? I'm not telling you. Josh, can you just tell me? Turn it on the PowerPoint, OK. And you tell me it's not noisy. Yeah, but all the other guys are using it, so why can't we use it? Jenna, because we can't lock in a room like that, I'm telling you. Oh, my God. Kat said to me that it was noisy to start with and then it can't be. I would say that's over the sound curfew. OK? Yeah, that is way too noisy, OK? Don't be ridiculous. Jenna wants to spray because she wants to take the easy way out, but I don't want to risk getting disqualified because, to me, that's pretty noisy, you know, and having an open wall, all it takes is one neighbour to complain and we're out for this week. But Jenna is not yeah, convinced. Hear, eh? So she gets a second opinion from her neighbour, Was. <laughs> Call it loud. It is now. Now that I mean, once all the cars stop and people stop talking, yeah, I think it'll probably fly out of your house. Yeah. How come? Is that pretty noisy, Zajena? So no. The video you made was for no reason. An idiot. Just trying to help. <laughs> Can you just apologise to me in front of Australia? Is that, that, that all right? Can you, can you just apologise to me for Australia, Dana? Can you get <laughs> How about that? <laughs> oh, the tides are turned. Something's no, it's, wrong. OK, well, it's unfair. And I just don't want to use it. Yeah. All we've got to do is roll these. Well, it doesn't bother me because I'm not going to be doing it. 
because I'm not painting by hand, you can do that. No way. Monday, the swords are coming out. It's Judgment Day. As the teams race to deliver room two in the competition. Four hours late. The judges are back. I think this is as good as we've seen so far. And the pressure to win the $5,000 room prize... Josh, this is bull ..is overwhelming. What are you doing? We're over it. The winner for week two is...